Hello and welcome to another one of my video tutorials. This time I'm going to be showing you how you can get the game Grand Theft Auto 4 to work on a PC with Windows XP Service Pack 2. Now one of the requirements of Grand Theft Auto 4 is that you use uh, a PC with either Service Pack 3 or with uh, Windows Vista with Service Pack 1. Now, I didn't know this until I tried to install it, because uh, I've got Service Pack 2, and then it came up with an error saying, oh no, you need Service Pack 3. And uh, so I downloaded Service Pack 3 and tried to install it, and uh, of course, halfway through installation, it said, oh no, an error occurred, because uh, that's just typical, isn't it? And uh, so then I tried again various other ways, and it still didn't work, it came up with the same error. And uh, so I did some digging on Google, and I found out uh, that some people have been using a registry tweak to tell their computer that it has Service Pack 3 on, even when it doesn't. And so in this video I'm going to be showing you uh, how you can use that registry tweak. Alright, now first of all you want to click on Start and then Run. Then in this box that comes up you want to type in Reg Edit, and uh, I'm putting all this in the description by the way, uh, so you can find it easily. Right. Now first of all you want to click on file and export and then you want to give it a name and click save. I'm going to click cancel because I already made one recently. That was just making a backup just in case something goes wrong. Alright, uh, now you, okay, you've got all these folders here. You want to click on H key local machine. Then you want to go down to system, current control set, control and... And as a yeah, current control set, then control, you want to scroll down to Windows. And uh, there'll be a thing here uh, which is entitled CSD version. And when you uh, look under the heading of data, it should be set to uh, 0x, then loads of zeros, then 200, then in brackets next to it 512. As you can see, mine's set to 300 and 768. So you want to right click on that and click modify and then you want to change that from 200 to 300 and then click OK. And then that will automatically change to 768 from 512. Then you want to click on close and then you want to click on start then right click on my computer and go to properties. And then it should say that you have Windows XP with Service Pack 3. If it doesn't, uh, then it's very simple, just reboot your computer and then go to start my computer and right click on it and go to properties again and it should say service pack 3. Uh, then all you need to do is install GTA 4 and it should install fine and play fine. Uh, what really annoyed me about this actually is the fact that it doesn't need any elements of service pack 3. because. Uh, at the moment I still have Service Pack 2 and I can play it absolutely fine. And some people said after doing this registry, registry tweak that uh, they found it, the game a little bit laggy. Um, but after doing this I've had no lag and I've got a budget gaming PC. Uh, I mean I've got 3 gigabytes of DDR2 RAM, uh, an Intel Q6600, uh, which is 2.4 gigahertz quad core and uh, 8800 GT with 500 megabytes, 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, so it's not a, it's an all right gaming PC. It's not a fantastic one though, uh, but I can play it with no lag whatsoever, and I have it on fairly decent settings. And uh, so yeah, I hope that helped. And thanks for watching.